Good morning and welcome to the devotional for the Underwood Baptist Sunday School class. I'm so glad to be with you this morning. I hope that this uh, time that we spend together is fruitful for you and that you use something from what we study on this morning uh, to apply it to your life and to use it in a way to honor and glorify the Lord. So I'm going to lead us a word of prayer and then we'll get started on our verse this morning, verses this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning just thanking you for the opportunity to uh, be able to approach your throne and just read some verses from your word and be able to apply them to our lives and use them to honor and glorify you, Lord. May we uh, come across somebody this week that we can show our testimony of faith to, that we can share the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that we might be able to uh, do something that would be pleasing and honoring to you. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, to follow wherever your will may lead, and we thank you for loving us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. This morning I ask you, are you content with what you have? Are you happy with what God has blessed you with, or are you always looking for something else? Are you always striving for another thing, another material item, another something that you can have? There are plenty of things that God blesses us with that we don't need. Um, there's plenty of things that we do need, but there's plenty of things that we get uh, blessings from God. But we as people usually are always looking for something else. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of times we don't find ourselves being content with what we have. Uh, when somebody uh, close to us gets a, another, say, car, uh, we start getting car fever, right? Because we want to go get a car too. We want a new car that looks so nice what they have. Or say somebody gets a new house. And instead of the very first thought we have for them is just being overwhelmed and happy for them, we start thinking, well, we need a new house. Now, all of a sudden, the house we had that God's blessed us with wasn't good enough. It didn't have enough bells and whistles. It wasn't exactly what we hoped it could be. So we start looking for something else. Now, am I saying there's anything wrong with getting a new car? I am not. Am I saying there's anything wrong with getting a new house? I am not. I'm saying that we have to learn to be content with what we have until the Lord decides to bless us with what we uh, might get in the future. But we can't go around living a life in Christ that's not full of contentment. We have to be content in the Lord. So today's verses I'm going to point you to are going to be from 1 Timothy and it's going to be 1 Timothy chapter 6, and it's going to start in verse 6. We're going to read from 6 to verse 10. That's 1 Timothy 6 to 10, and it says, But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Now, we always get blessings from God. Sometimes they're monetary, sometimes they are uh, things, uh, but most of the time they're things that God gives us or prevents uh, from happening to us. And so we always have to look at our blessings as not only blessings given to us, but blessings because something wasn't given to us, like maybe the house we wanted was more money that we needed to pay for. And instead of losing our money into a house we can't really truly afford, God has continued to allow us to our, continue our tithing that we give to him and still have plenty of money left over to live our life because we didn't go get that next best thing or Maybe we decided to get a car uh, that we couldn't really afford and it continued to break down and we have all of these things that we spend money into the breakdown instead of having that money left over to spend on things uh, like our tithe and then on the rest of the things that we need to. So we must live in a life of contentment with God. We didn't have anything when we were born. 
<clears throat> and material things can only make you so happy until they no longer bring you joy because the true joy and peace that we will find on this earth is through the Lord and in the Lord and being content in the Lord. And the verses tell us that our contentment is found in godliness. It's found in the Lord Jesus Christ and not all the material things that we can have. Nowhere in the scripture does God tell somebody not to enjoy the fruits of their labor or not to uh, be okay with having money. It's when we put money in a place in our lives that's more important than the Lord and more important than serving him. Money is by a means to be able to use to give back to God because he's blessed us so uh, greatly with. So the money that we have, the blessings that we have, the materialism that we have, that's all from God. God has decided to give those things to us and we have to use those things to honor and glorify God. And if we're not going to use the things God gives us to honor and glorify God, he's not going to bless them with us. If you're a Christian today and you know Jesus Christ is your savior, you must use the things he blesses us with to do things to honor and glorify him. So please, as you go throughout this day, keep in mind that you are not fighting this world for material items. You are serving in this world for God's pleasure to be able to honor and glorify him. And anything he decides to bless us with needs to be used to honor and glorify him. God loved us first. God loves us most. We have to go out and be the testimony and the child of God that he needs us to be and wants us to be. So please do so. Please go out and be that Christian that somebody needs today. Go out and don't worry about all the material things and the money aspects of life and worry about the spiritual things of life and serving God in a more profound way than we did the day before. God bless you all. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. Go be Jesus in somebody's life.